I tried the LeBron step back method for a while. I mean, it's all right, like. But this one's gonna be way better, I promise you. It's gonna get you easy buckets every single time. Let's get straight into it. You too. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. First of all, shouts out to y'all because y'all blew up my finishing badge video. You guys went crazy with this. So shouts out to you guys. So because of that, I'm bringing you guys my shooting badge method. This ain't no LeBron step backs. This is gonna be wide open jumpers. And this is gonna be super easy to make. As long as you can shoot, you're gonna get your badges. Let's get straight into it. So just like last time, we are going to be running a play, guys. To get to this play, you're going to do my career, career tracker. You're going to press R1 until you get over the edit playbook. Press triangle. We are going to be looking for a th uh, cutter. I know it sounds weird that we're going to be doing cutter for a three-point play, but just stick with me, all right? So the play is going to be right here. It's going to be O2 cut 41 horns loop. And if you see how this works out, just watch it play out. You pass to the center, come around the power forward. But instead of cutting to the rim, you're just going to go to the three point line, to the wing or to the corner. It's going to lead to a wide open three. So with this method, you could do it however you want to do it. Um, as far as difficulty, however you want to shoot, I could shoot decent on Hall of Fame. I feel like I get the most bang from a buck on Hall of Fame. But if you can't really shoot on Hall of Fame, go to whatever difficulty you can. The reason this is better than LeBron method is for a couple of reasons. One, you can't get double teamed on this method. Once you bring the ball up, you pass it to the center, you can't get double teamed on this method. And two, with the LeBron method, if you don't time your shot right, this is gonna change the speed and stuff. If you don't set your feet, this one, you have time to set your feet, take a solid shot, unlike the step back. So I'm gonna show you a couple of clips on exactly how this play works. Okay, so here's the play right here. So I'm gonna pull, uh, pull up, call the play, press L1, X, and pick the play. Pass it to the center, wrap right around just like that. It's easy money. So the main thing you want to keep in mind is once you pass it to the center, like once you press L2, you want to immediately cut. Like once you press that button, you want to cut because if you don't immediately cut, that's what's going to happen. He's going to shoot it and he's going to think the play is dead. So once you pass it in, once you press L2, go. And then it'll get you the open shot like that. Worst case scenario is your player doesn't get caught on the screen, but the play is super quick, so you have enough time to call it again, and it almost will never happen twice where he doesn't get caught on the screen. So you see right there, the play died, but since I did run super quick around the edge, it still worked perfectly fine, and I was able to get the pass off the screen. Let's just see it one more time. Boom, right around the edge. Easy money. As long as you can hit the shot, is gonna work so pick a difficulty where you hit the shot because this game i was playing on hall of fame but i hit the majority of my shots but not all of them okay so here's the stats so i ended up doing standstill threes 35 for 59 meaning i did get 59 open threes um i just clanked 14 well 24 of them on hall of fame so pick a difficulty that you could shoot on and as long as you could shoot the rock you can get open shots for sure i got about 34k my points on this one and that was missing quite a few shots Find the difficulty you like, run this method, and you're gonna get a ton of shooting badge points. It's that easy, guys. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. If it does, be sure to subscribe. Check out my finishing badge method as well, getting about 60K finishing badge points per game. And also, I'm gonna be dropping a playmaking one soon. So I appreciate y'all stopping by. Y'all be safe. Peace.